So there seems to be a massive cultural difference between European LARPers and American LARPers. Let's talk about it and decide once and for all which one is best. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is St. Godric. I am a US LARPer. and I have been LARPing for about 15 years now. And I wanna dive into this topic about the differences uh, and causes between those differences between the European LARPers and the American LARPers. Now, you might be saying, well, what are those differences? I challenge you, go look in any video comment section or TikTok uh, comment section for any Boffer-based, US-based uh, LARP, and you will see a ton of people who are so upset, mainly from Europe, <laughs> Uh, some from Australia too, uh, but who, who just bemoan and belittle all of the American LARPers. And there seems to be a very large culture difference between the two, and I wanna explore those today. So what is the cause of these differences? I think it comes down to a difference in the understanding of the word LARPing. It's kind of like when we say football. That means two completely different things based on what continent you're, you're from and you grew up in, right? When I hear football, I think American football. I think end zones, I think quarterbacks, I think four downs, I think punting, kick returns, those type of things. Where most Europeans, when they hear the word football, they think of goals and goalies and forwards and it's just a completely different game. And it really depends on where you grew up on which one you're going to care about more but they're saying the same thing but meaning different things so there's a difference in culture that comes down between the two games even though we're both saying larp i really think that it can be better described as larping in europe and something else entirely in america i haven't quite come up with a name for this yet i think uh l-a-b-a live action battle arena would be a better descriptor of what most boffer LARPs do. Before you come in and say, well, my little LARP in America does this, I understand, I get that. There are a lot of LARPs out there, little tiny LARPs, 30, 40 people, maybe 100 or 200 people in America that are more Euro style or Nordic style. Go ahead, you can leave those down in the comments if you want because it helps the algorithm, but I understand your point. The vast majority of LARPers in LARP games in America are these battle arena type of games. The boffer type of games. And I think it really comes down to a difference in the goal of what the players in EU and NA want. Let me give you an example. I think most of the European LARPers come to the table coming from D&D. They take a look at the experience of what comes with Dungeons and Dragons. That's gonna be very world building, gonna be very much character building, going to be different skills in character development. They really enjoy the experience that they have when they role play with tabletop role playing games. And they wanna be able to pick that up and come and do that in the middle of a forest with friends. And they want it to be live action and enjoy that. So because of that, it's gonna be very story driven, very character driven. Whereas when you come over to America, most, again, most of the LARPs in America come at it from a completely different standpoint. See, most American LARPers aren't coming at it with a character-driven, D&D-driven background. They're coming at it from a sports background or like think video games. And so I know what got me into the American LARPs, the Boffer LARPs, was the competitive aspect of it. I remember showing up on day one and playing all of the game modes that I loved in Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo. And so we show up, we play capture the flag, we play king of the hill, and if that is the, the base starting point, the games are going to look very different, right? In America, you're going to want to play more fast-paced, competitive, it's more about the game itself, the combat itself, where in Europe, if it's going to be more about character building and more about story building, and then the combat is kind of thrown in there as a necessity, as a mechanic, whereas in America, the combat is the essential part, and not just the combat, the competitive nature of it. Now, and then the role play and the character building that gets kind of thrown in there as an afterthought. So it seems to me the root of all of the issue is there are a lot of people who enjoy some sort of nerdy hobby where they hit other people with sticks and they dress in some sort of costume, garb, pajamas, if we're being honest, right? And they see other nerds on the internet doing something different and they don't like it because they think those other nerds make them look bad. Guys, I gotta tell you, if someone's looking at our games from the outside, they're either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. Right? There's, there's not a whole lot going on here where we're gonna be able to convince them otherwise. So by 
someone else having fun, another nerd on another continent having fun, and it, even if it is different than the way that you have fun, it doesn't do any of our games good when people come into the comments and they see American LARPers and Euro LARPers battling out in the comments over who's less nerdy or more nerdy or whatever barometer you want to throw in there, just kind of depending on the argument at the time. The thing we got to understand is when one of our games grow, all of our games grow. When D&D surged during COVID, LARPs surged during COVID. When, us, when Skyrim came out, right? When Pirates of the Caribbean came out, when these cultural phenomenons uh, bring more attention to nerdy and LARP and LABA, L-A-B-A, uh, adjacent topics, we all grow. And it doesn't do us any good at all when we're arguing in the comments of these videos if there's someone who is interested in joining your game or my game and they're like, oh, I want to go find out more about this. And they go in the comments and then they see 60 comments back and forth yelling and screaming at each other over my game's better than your game. My game doesn't do it that way. Your game does it this way. Why do you do this? You think that they're interested? You think they're going to want to come in and join this community, this culture? I guess what I'm saying is, let's be kind to each other because it helps us all out. There are things that the Euro LARPs can learn from American LARPs. There are things that Americans can learn from the Euro LARP. Just because it's different and other nerds are having fun in a different way doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it bad. It doesn't somehow demean the way you have fun, right? Enjoy it. Do what you want to do. Grow your game. I'm going to grow my game. Hopefully, we can grow our games together because when your game succeeds, my game succeeds. If we have more people playing our games, it's a benefit. It's a win for all of us. I want to take a break from our regularly scheduled programming to let you know of a new free resource that I've been working on called LARP 101. This is a complete field guide to get you started in the vast majority of games that are out there. This ebook, you can download it in the description down below, covers all of the basics. And it is the goal is to try and make it to where it is very general. So no matter what LARP you end up playing at, whether it is a Boffer LARP, a historical LARP, whether it's a Nordic LARP, that it is a general guide to get you started. If you're interested in this free ebook, look down in the descriptions below. Get yourself a copy of LARP 101, a complete field guide. So which type of LARP is better? I gotta say, it's gotta be EU. Because I think the EU LARPing, Nordic LARPing, the on average type of LARP that's gonna take place in Europe is a more traditional LARP, live action role playing game. I think what most of the time happens in America at the largest games in American LARPs, uh, Beekling, Amp Guard, Dagger Here, Darkon, um, and then you can, you can into Alliance and Nero and some of that stuff, uh, but th mainly those battle arena games, I don't think they're LARPs. I think we need to start calling them something different. They're live action battle arenas. And I think a lot of the arguments and a lot of the butting heads could be resolved if we just called it what it is. I don't think that most Americans LARP. I think we live action battle arena. We are playing a video game with sticks in costumes. Whereas in Europe, they're playing D&D with sticks in costumes. Very fundamental difference. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my uh, theory here. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What about my stance do you think is correct or incorrect? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And that wraps up this video. My name is Saint Godric. Adventure awaits. I'll see you next time.